Hello guys, this is Luca. Welcome to my channel. And let me, let me just introduce what is my plan for this channel. Basically, I just want to talk about photography in all of its aspects, whether it's technical, uh, artistical, anything that is related to photography uh, is, is going to be the focus of my channel. We're here today to take a look at two super compact, super lightweight uh, carbon fiber travel tripods that I recently bought because I wanted to have something smaller compared to the tripod that I use usually, which is a fairly cheap but substantial uh, newer um, tripod uh, aluminum, uh, aluminum tripod which is not even that big, but I wanted something a little, me a little bit more uh, travel friendly and lightweight. Though I never had issues when I brought this together with my hand baggage um, photographic backpack. But still, this is not super lightweight uh, and it's not super compact. I wanted something more compact and more uh, lightweight. That's where these two tripod come in place. Let's un unbox. It's not even an unboxing. Let's get a look, have a look at the first one, which is called, which is from Raleigh, as you can see here. And it's uh, called Raleigh voila, Compact Traveler number one tripod. This is the first one that I bought. And I bought it because based on reviews on Amazon and based on the price, which is just $120, euros, uh, it looked like it could mm, do what I, what I needed. Um, and as you can see, when you unfold it, it uh, has one big flaw that I can already see, and it's what brought me to buy the other one just to compare them. This center column does not collapse. So this is always sticking out. Uh, so if you want to travel very compact, I, I need to travel when it's completely folded position, the one that you saw before, because when it comes to traveling like this, it's even taller than my regular tripod, even though it's light, it's uh, lighter. And more, most, the most important thing, this seems to wobble a little bit too much compared to what I wanted. Uh, but other than that, the tripod feels very, very uh, nice in the end. These unlock um, knobs are perfect. I, I mean, you just need to slightly move them and feet are going to come out very easily. And the rest of the tripod is really nice. What, what is really important for me is this ball head seems very, very good because it has some friction. It doesn't just fall. There's no risk for you to go grab your camera down to the ground because this just fell bringing everything to the ground. And it also helps with composition because when you have some friction, it helps you select the right spot without fiddling with the, with the, with the head. Another important thing for me is this that uh, this um, head has a panning knob which helps when you want to compose a um, panoramic shot so if once you level it you just need to rotate it uh, even even though i don't shoot that uh, kind of photography that much but still it's an option it's good to have it on a on a travel head and this extends even further Again, my most concern, my major concern with this is the center column, especially when it's windy. I don't feel that comfortable and I already tried it. Mm, I can see the wind. So that's why the Benro came into play because I thought that it could give me a little more stability because as you can see right after I unfold it the center column goes to the ground goes co collapses it on the inside and 
from my tests out, that's that's a substantial difference because this wobbles a lot less than the um, than the rolly, which for comparison, that's the difference when you bring them around. When they're com completely folded, the difference is not that much, but once you open it, that's a, that's a substantial difference. So let's put this away and talk about the bendo. The bendo is called, let me see, it, um, FSL09CN00. Now, it's a complicated name. It's a travel tripod, uh, of the slim size. You can read it here. And I can tell you right away that when I opened it, I was kind of um, let down because these knobs feel a lot worse than the other one in the in the Raleigh because they're metal and you need to fiddle with it a little bit more it's it's not as smooth as the other one and also while the uh, the Raleigh has three positions that you can select for the legs like this is one this is this is one, this is two, and this is three for each of the legs. This bendro has a different unlocking mechanism, you just have to pull this, but it only has two positions. One is this, and the other one is this. You don't get to go very low to the ground uh, with this. So this is a difference that to me is important, and what is even more important is that uh, the head feels super cheap. And when I say super cheap, is I mean, look at this. The other one doesn't do that. You have to do some play somehow with this, and it doesn't have the panning knob. Just for comparison, let's see how big, how small this becomes when close to its smallest condition just this and this so you can see it's very small it's 31.5 centimeters and it weighs about one kilo the weight is similar on this a little bit less 980 grams and when it's folded dimensions are compatible because As you can see, it's not that much of a difference. And for comparison, the travel that I showed you before, if I want to fold it at its minimum, that's its maximum. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of a difference with the other ones. And the weight is substantially different. So let's get out and test them out. Here we are outside. Um, for the purpose of this video, we're going to a place that I like a lot, which is called uh, Monte Concilio. It's the one right there that you can see. So as anticipated at home, I will test both tripods out um, with a telephoto lens at its maximum uh, the maximum fo focal length so we're gonna um, see we're gonna amplify all the potential issue due to the tripod wobbling we're gonna use a static subject like the chimney you can see on top of the mountain hood and we're gonna test different position for each um, for each tripod. Before we move forward, the reason why I'm using the legs, all the section extended, it's because being kind of short tripods, it is likely that when using them, I will extend all the legs no, ma no matter what. So it doesn't make any sense for me to test them with the legs uh, folded because there's 
there's only few chances that I'm gonna use them in that condition it is more likely for me to use them like this so let's start with the Rolay first and uh, with the center column as compact as possible and here we are again to compare the footage that came from both uh, tripods at their different positions to decide which one should I keep. I'll show you the footage and I'll talk about it and at the end I'll tell you what I already decided to do uh, after, I, um, after the test that we performed in the field. So uh, let's start with the Rolly. If you remember the first test that I did was the Rolly when the center column was as compact as possible even if it was still sticking out and as you can see um, it takes about four seconds to stabilize at 200 millimeters uh, i understand that this may um, not seem a big deal but there was no wind there was literally no wind and i'm Again, I know 200 millimeters on a tripod like that may sound a little bit too much, but I want to be able to use the tripod. So, four seconds, it's not, I wouldn't consider it a good result. Now, let's move to the band row in its compact condition, meaning with a center column completely folded. And you see, it takes less than two seconds to stabilize and I feel a lot less concern with the bend row as far as wind goes. So when it's compacted in its shortest condition, the bend row is way better than the Rolly, even though the difference in height is substantial. But still, I cannot go any, uh, any lower than that with the Rolly and I still have to uh, fight with that unstable center column. Then move to the band row in its middle condition. It takes slightly more than two seconds, let's just say three seconds to make a difference between the center column fu fully compacted and uh, in its middle position and it's a decent result but the height was not as, was still a little bit lower than the Raleigh. Then we'll move to the band row in its fully extended position and you can see it's still moving and it takes about five seconds to stabilize. Now I know it's the worst condition for the tripod but still five seconds is, is a little bit too much and again I'm start to be concerned about wind. And the band on its fully extended position it's kind of the same height of the Rolly uh, when the center column is um, completely compacted or in its shortest position. Then move to the Rolly when it's fully extended. Now, this test, I knew that because I've already seen that happening, but this, guys, takes almost 12 seconds. You see, it's still moving. It takes almost 12 seconds to stabilize. That means that it's basically unusable because as soon as I uh, blow some air with my mouth on the camera, it's, it's going to move. So, um, if, you, if I was to keep the Raleigh, I would need to use it without considering the, the, the center column extension because it's basically usable. So, what I decided to do at the end? Well, I decided to return both of them. I didn't buy them knowing that I would have returned them. I wanted to have a good one. That's why I bought one first. I was not super satisfied about the second. Uh, and I'm not satisfied at all with any of, the, of these two. And that's why I'm returning them. I'm not used to return stuff to Amazon just for the sake of trying stuff. So I'm returning both of them because even though the Bendro is a lot more usable than the Rolly when it comes to stability, still I don't like the feel and I don't like Actually, it's not that I don't like, I hate that ball head that they uh, give with the tripod. So, the Bendro is a better tripod, let's just say, but the, the head kills it. On the other hand, the head is perfect, perfect. It's very good on the Raleigh, but the tripod itself 
it, it wobbles too much. So at the end, I decided to just give up and stick with the travel that I already have. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.